So let's see now what are the best practices when you want provision in the dashboard and you're configuring the dashboard. Could be the organizations and the networks. Or if you are an MSP and this is your first time dealing with Cisco Meraki dashboard, so how are you gonna extend all your service providers clients into a dashboard so you can make sense of it? We're gonna see this page again, but we're gonna go through it. If you remember, this is gonna be your username and password. You can call it in that way, the administrator account. You're gonna have some kind of MSP portal where you can see all the different organizations. You say organization one, two, and three, and each organization is gonna have its own networks. So here are the best practices if you wanna start fresh. What I would recommend is create your own username and account. So let's say Bob again, you create your own username account. At the beginning, it's gonna tell you, you want to create an organization, you just put organization name. So let's say you create your own organization, organization A, and it's gonna tell you, oh, now that you have organization, let's create networks. So let's say network A, and that's how you finished. So now how can you have another organization in the same user? Uh, because it's not very simple, very, fast forward way to see through the documentations in the Cisco Meraki is just like a mouth to mouth uh, conversation for you to get that. But at the end, the best way to do it is you go back to the organization, click create new network, use the same username and password of Bob, the one that I used before and create a new organization. And you're gonna call organization B and then inside of the organization, you can call it network B. So once you log out and log back in again, you will see that now you have a user interface to pick between two organizations. So when you log in into the Meraki dashboard account and you have more than one organizations, it means that your MSP portal is created because you have more than one organization that you can see. And now if you pick organization A, you will see network A. If you pick organization B, you're gonna see network B. And you will see that now you have a new dropdown where you can toggle or change between organizations and between networks for everything. And that is gonna bring a new privilege. And that's what this call MSP portal, because inside of that, you have the option of create a new organization and don't have to go to the hurdle of logging out, creating an organization with the same username and password. That things are in the past now. So now that you have the two, you have the MSP portal features and you can create a new organization just coming from the same dashboard in any organizations, you will have that option. And after that, create new networks. So what are the best practices? Now that you have this MSP portal, so let's say that you have a consultancy firm or service provided firm, and now you have new customers and in each customer you have different networks. So let's say that customer A, you're gonna create an organization A for them. And that customer A has different branches. So let's say branch A is there, branch AB and branch AC. Three different branches are inside of the same organizations. And that way you know that all the licenses in that organization belongs to customer one. And if you have another customer, you can use the other organization, customer, the organization B. And that customer has two branches. So it's gonna be BA and BB. So you have two networks inside of the organization of customer two, which is customer B. And so, so far, so forth, you can continue doing that way. And if you know that all your networks and organizations, it's gonna be like a template, it's gonna be the same thing. What we always recommend that is use a base org. So you can create a base org when you know that it's simple enough for you to replicate it to the other one and create as well a network blueprint. Once you do that, and that is gonna be the main, the basic configuration for you, then you have the option to create or clone that base org. So once, once you have a new customer, you say, oh, let's create a new customer. Let's say customer four. What you can is just clone that organization and that is gonna bring then the blueprint network that you've created as well. With that, it's gonna be way easier and you have the basic configurations for you. So that's the, way, the best way to use the MSP portal and provision new customers in your firm or your company.